today's video is on Finnish Army Simulator, which I can't work out is either a serious simulator for what it's like being in the army, or whether it's a joke game that is literally taking the piss at every chance it can. When you boot up the game for the first time, it comes up with a disclaimer stating how Finland isn't a real country or something. I don't know. There are homophobic slurs in the first 15 to 20 seconds of you actually starting a new game, which put me off it completely. And the game is broken and in very, very early stages. It is worth pointing out that it is in early access and there are things that are going to be changed, but it feels like an alpha. As always, though, we'll go through the settings first, then we'll jump into the game and I will show you what I think of it so far. I'm not very far in because there's not a lot to do. But we'll we'll get to that. Let's look at those settings. Your settings are pretty bare bones, honestly. Um, they're a bit weird and a bit janky as well. The language button here, when I first booted up was blank even though it was in English and I had to scroll through the different languages to get it to go back to English to say it was in English. Interestingly enough the voice acting is not in English it's just for the subtitles only which isn't really helpful either. Uh, the voice acting is not great anyway so you're not really missing much there. On the fact of the audio you only get volume, music and subtitles. So if you uh, want to be able to actually know what's going on, you're going to need the subtitles on. Volume and music are started at max level, which is not ideal. It does blow your uh, eardrums out a little bit. And then your quality settings. There's there's really not a lot here. Um, and the game is constantly loading, which you will see when we're in game itself. You have the resolution, which is by default 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. Full screen on or off. Quality level of fantastic or crappiest? Crappy, medium, good, and fantastic. I don't know why there is this need for obscenities. There's a lot of swearing in the game as well, which is fine. I have nothing against profanity. I swear like a sailor. But it feels like it's forced. It feels like it's put in just for the sake of it. There's no real context for it or anything, which is a bit, a bit weird. You've got your NPC navigation, dynamic weather... Uh, dynamic world loading this is what causes the world to load all of the time but i feel like having it off would be worse than having it on um also i've not seen any different weather yet it's it's just been the same and then your input um you have got key mapping but the screen is a mess <laughs> it's just it's not very nice you've got text on top of text because it's a, a window lap instead of making it completely um, non-transparent so you've only got the one key which makes it incredibly difficult to look at you can recalibrate your controller although it does state that there's not full controller input yet you can assign the controller if you've got one plugged in i've only got my uh, my steering wheel at the minute you've got your actions keyboard mouse and controller um, there's no map button which is a problem which we'll get into in the game as well and uh, also if you do go into the settings in game be aware because the mouse sensitivity bar never went away <laughs> went into the options just to see if i could see if i was missing something for a map and and this thing here just was there all of the time so there's your options kind of lackluster not very good to look at they're not very aesthetically pleasing at all but again it's early access hopefully they're going to change that and the control mapping is messy and a little bit on the confusing side when trying to set it all up because it's just text on top of text i wish i could say the gameplay made it better so we're in the game unsurprisingly the graphics are not amazing the sound assets are even worse and it only kind of goes down from there. As you can see, my FPS counter is in the bottom and it is all over the place. It's not staying at a constant 60 like I would expect it to. Um, and you do, with this dynamic loading, you get a big loading symbol in the middle of the screen every so often when you try and run anywhere. You've got a task in the top right hand corner and it tells you what version you're on in the bottom left hand corner. This feels like an alpha. It's not great to play. You've got head bobbing on 
by default and I can't seem to find where to turn it off. And you will get fitness level ups and other, you know, level ups as you go through the game, which is fine except for the fact that the amount of XP you get for like exercising is terrible compared to how much you need in order to level up to increase your stamina. You need 9,000 fitness XP in order to get a level up. And just by running around, you get 200 XP. Now, I don't know if there are going to be tasks later on within the game that will uh, give you more XP for that, but it doesn't seem like it. However, I can't say for sure because I can't find where I'm supposed to go next. I can't find where I'm supposed to go next because the game doesn't want to tell you and it, it makes it very clear that it doesn't want to tell you. When you first walk in, it says after this point, you won't get markers. You just get told a destination. You just kind of left to try and figure it out. It's not ideal. It's not great. It's... It leads to just disorientation, really. Like, the map's huge. There is no map in the game. It's constantly loading as you're walking through. It looks horrible. It doesn't play very well. You, you That's your jump, by the way. Your stamina bar runs out really quickly, so it takes you forever to get anywhere in the game anyway. And the objectives are really, really vague. When you first go in, you get the chance to skip if you want, but you get like given this speech, and it's just it's it's just long-winded, doesn't make sense. It just it's it's not good. Now, I have made it to the barracks. I followed the signs and I made it to the barracks, but I can't go in any of the buildings, and it didn't trigger the, the next sort of step, if you like. It didn't trigger the next quest that I had to do. So I don't know if it's just not loading or whether I'm doing something wrong, whether I haven't found anything. I don't know. It really doesn't make sense and the constant loading just makes me not want to play it anymore. Um, there's apparently a radio tower in there behind the clouds that keeps popping up. <laughs> I don't know why it's taller than anything in existence ever, but here we are. Um, so yeah like there's not really much else to say because i've not been able to do anything else it's a very very bare bones game and honestly why am i on the what yes when i climb up i climb backwards that's that's how this works i climb inside the building and then just drop down so i can't actually climb up the ladder that's there to be climbed this game is in early access, but it requires so much work. Honestly, a navigation bar or a map or a compass or something would make this such a better experience. But the fact that they seem to not want to do that concerns me. The fact that the game tells you that it's not going to tell you where you need to go after the first time that it tells you where to go and shows you that it can do a navigation system tells me that they either don't care about the viewer experience or that they're being lazy and they don't want to have to make a navigation marker because it's too much work and neither of those options are good at all whatsoever the some of the building designs are really cool though right like they've got the rust and stuff going they've put way more time into this building than say the hospital or whatever and they've got random cars and stuff around but generally speaking the map is very bare bones and very barren and again the fact that you can't actually do anything why have they got a food truck with no food in it it just it feels half assed it feels incomplete it feels very very alpha stage and I can see a lot of people getting very, very frustrated with not knowing where they want to go. Uh, the head bobbing making people nauseous. The weird fitness for exercising that doesn't seem to make sense. And I don't know whether I'm going to be able to level up any other sort of issues. The, the hospital, which has got weird drone people in each room. It just... Maybe in a year or so when they've had time to actually work stuff out like i can't actually enter any of the buildings anyway i don't know maybe maybe one to keep an eye on 
Um, but for now, I would say avoid. There's nothing here. The directions are lackluster. The options are not great. The fact that there's homophobic slurs in it in the first 15 to 20 seconds of the gameplay. It, it's just not a very good look. And the constant load flashing coming up on the screen is just awful as well. It's not a fun experience. I am not enjoying my time on this game. I'm going to switch it off and pretend like it never existed. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you all next time. Ciao, ciao.